I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus on this precious day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall live to the fullest. Our God is good and our God is with us. He shall never leave us and he shall never forsake us. My dear friend, I've got good news for you. Even on this precious day, God is with you. God's presence is with you and God will lead and guide you. As you know, my dear friend, today is Monday and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you that I know will bless you. So without any further delay, let us begin. As I was seeking the Lord, the Lord spoke to me through a chain of events. Also, through the example that a very young boy who recently went to be with the Lord left. And this is the word that the Lord gave me. Maintain your composure. Maintain your integrity. Now more than ever is a time to let your light shine to the nations. Let the Lord lead you and guide you in all that you do. God is always with you. My dear friend, even as I received this word, the Lord led me to the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, which says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. The key over here is to press on and keep on following after Jesus, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart, in other words, if we do not become discouraged, in other words, if we do not grow weary. So press on and keep on going for God. I'll read that one more time. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Now the next scripture is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 14 to verse 15. It says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. My dear friend, I want to read this once again and break it down for you. You are the light of the world. The light of the world are the true disciples of Jesus, born again believers, born of water and of spirit, those who take Christ's teachings and put them into practice. It goes on and it says, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, so you were born to stand out. You were born again of water and of spirit, and you are an ambassador of heaven. Being an ambassador of heaven, you are not born of water and of spirit to be hidden, but you are born to stand out and to set an example in your conduct and in the way you do things. It goes on and it says, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. So that repeats what I'm sharing with you. A light cannot be lit and then hidden. Otherwise, what is the point of that light? It goes on and says, but on a lampstand. And as you let your light shine, God will lift you up. God will promote you in that area of your purpose, in your destiny, be it in a certain business field or career field, whatever it might be that God has called you to do. As you are going on that journey, on that divine path, in your personal relationship with God, God will promote you as you let your light shine. It goes on and says, and it gives light to all who are in the house. My dear friend, that light needs to shine. Right now, more than ever, the world needs the salt and light of the world. They need the believers to hold it from tipping the balance and getting too far gone. Hold on to Jesus and Jesus will hold on to you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you helpless. Seek God in due season, and in due season you shall also reap. There is nothing else in this whole universe that can give the same satisfaction as praying and spending time in the presence of God. And when you spend time with someone, you begin to walk like them, talk like them, and behave like them. When you spend enough time, you start to reflect the same characteristics. In the same way, spend time with the Lord and you will begin to walk and do the things that the Lord desires, and God will bless you. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Take yourself and your device where you're watching me from, 
Just go somewhere private where you can pray and seek God. And even as you go there, begin by praising God. Just begin to mention to God how much He means to you and who He is to you. In your own words, just express praises to God. Father, we just praise you. You are our God and you are our refuge. You are our very present help in time of need. You are the God who delivers us. You are the God who makes a way for us when there is no way that we can go. You are the God who opens up the way. You are the God who brings deliverance to those who are in need of deliverance. You are the God who strengthens us to finish this race and not grow weary, to run and not grow tired. You are the God who gives us grace to be the salt and light in this world. And we give you praise for all that you've done for us, including the full and finished work of the cross, for sending your son Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to die for us and pay the price, to pay the price for our salvation, for our blessing, for our deliverance, for our restoration back to you, to pay the price and deliver us from eternal damnation. I thank you and I give you praise for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, believe God and trust Him and you shall see miracles, signs and wonders. Now we're going to begin to pray. I want to pray with you and for you in line with this word. And as we begin, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important of the three is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. And even on this fresh new day, on Monday, on a brand new week, begin to touch me, begin to help me, and begin to take me closer to Jesus. Help me to be the salt and light in this world, in my environment, in the area of my purpose and destiny. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I pray for you, be in agreement. The second thing I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want us to pray with you and for you, know that you are not alone. We will pray with you and for you. Simply go to our website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It'll come through to us and we're going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend, even on this precious day, release the grace over my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, so that they will be able to maintain their composure in all environments that they find themselves, to maintain their integrity, Father, I pray that you will release the grace so that my dear friend will let their light shine. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, in whatever environment that you've placed them, and that they'll be the salt and light in this world, because that is what is needed most in this time. I pray this and I thank you for it. Lead and guide, my dear friend, by the power of your spirit. Speak to my dear friend and show my dear friend the way. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, do miracles, signs, and wonders, even in this week, and help my dear friend to make much progress and to enjoy true fulfillment and satisfaction that you can only bring. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I bless you. I bless your family. May you be successful. May God give you grace this week and open doors of blessing, doors of favor, and may God surround you with good people and even as He places you in a place where He wants the light to shine, may God give you grace and may God help you to let your light shine out to the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.